just around the corner. I can offer you spring sunshine and possibly the hottest day of the year so far, but you'll have to be quick to catch it. I'll have all the details on that next. <laughs> I'll do my very best, Charlene. Yes, the UK currently basking in the glow of a beautiful spring evening. And here at Newport Wetlands and Nature Reserve in the south of Wales, it's no different. It's not just us humans enjoying the positively tropical temperatures. Nature is thoroughly enjoying it too. This almost five square kilometre nature reserve is home to birds and bees and dragonflies. Yesterday, American agencies issued a very, very rare geomagnetic storm warning. What does that mean? Well, you might well have noticed that maybe your mobile phone signal went a bit askew, GPS tracking systems going awry, you name it, it's all happening. But what you may also notice if you cast your eyes to the skies tonight, across much of about to come crashing to a halt with western parts of the UK in the firing line. Here are the details. So Charlene, the case of the calm before the proverbial storm, but uh, whatever you have planned, have a lovely weekend. All right, Ruth, thanks very much. Well, the high pressure that's dominated our weather story over the last few days just about hangs on in there as we head into the start of the weekend. And then, as I've been saying, all change into the second part of the weekend. You can see we've got low pressure and a frontal system that will bring those thunderstorms through Sunday evening and set up for a very unsettled start to next week. Back, if you like, to business as usual with wet and windy weather. But we'll worry about that, I think, when we get there. In the meantime, skies across much of the UK, like here in Newport are calm and quiet. We'll see lengthy clear spells developing, maybe just a few bits and pieces of high level cloud. And around coastal areas, if you effectively work from Yorkshire down towards parts of Kent by the early hours of tomorrow morning, we could see a little bit of coastal mist and fog starting to build too. Temperatures hovering between 10 and 12 degrees, so absolutely nothing to worry about temperature wise. But like recent mornings, it does set us up for quite a grey start for some, a little bit disappointing, particularly around coastal areas. But bear with us because the sunshine is gaining strength all the while now. That'll burn any mist and murk away quite quickly and I'm happy to say that for the most part Saturday is shaping up to be a bright and beautiful day. Temperatures in the 20s, possibly 26 or 27 in the far southeast which is 80 in Fahrenheit. But be careful wherever you are, enjoy that sunshine. We've got high levels of UV and as I say make the most of Saturday because it's all change Sunday.